Hi friends, Susanna here at work. Try to take a few minutes to share with you from the Word of God. I have a few minutes during my lunch break. I want to continue on the Standing Strong with Dr. David Jeremiah on Turning Points. And Happy Valentine's Day from my sweetheart sent to my workplace. So, so excited. And this March we'll be celebrating our 13th year of wedding anniversary. So praise God, to God be all the glory for great thing he has done. So during my lunch break here, I want to um, share with you a quick word. Let's say a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, I pray for all my viewers, my subscribers, and all those who are yet to uh, watch my channel, at YouTube channel. In the name of Jesus, bless each one of them as they may know the love of Christ who loves them so much, who loved all of us so much that he gave his only begotten son, the Lord Jesus Christ. So I pray that everyone have peace and love and joy today, whether they're in work or a homemaker or taking their kids to school. Bless each one in the name of Jesus. And we pray for America and pray for the peace of Jerusalem. In Jesus' name, amen. I had a privilege of visiting my mom yesterday and uh, we um, partake the Holy Communion together as a family every time we gather together. So that was a blessing, friends. So today, it's a lot of a lot of stuff going on at work, but I managed to take this opportunity to share a quick word with you. Let's see what Dr. David Jeremiah has to say on Wednesday, February the 14th. Talks about um, freedom's paradox. A person without self-control is like city without is a person without self-control is like a city with broken down walls. Proverbs 25:28 New Living Translation. One of the life's paradox is how self-discipline gives us freedom. People without self-control live under the tyranny of whatever desires master them. Pleasure, sleep, sex, indulge, indulgence, addictions, or hatred. When the Lord becomes the king of our life, uh, he enables us to grow the quality of self-control. It's a fruit of the spirit as we released from our vices, we're increasing freedom to live healthy and happy lives. First Peter 1, 13 to 16. To many people, the word, of, the word freedom means doing anything you want, whatever and wherever you want. But true freedom is impossible without, con without constraint. Limitations don't bring confinement they enable freedom paul told timothy for the spirit god gave us does not make us timid but gives us power love and self-discipline i like that from the new living translation for second timothy 1 7 or um self-control uh, galatians 5 22 through 23 says but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace through self-control and self-control identify any area of life in which you find yourself in bondage ask god to help you to allow his spirit to work in your heart so that you will experience true freedom turning point for today by charles stanley jesus who lived such a remarkable life has sent his spirit to dwell in you. His goal is to reproduce himself through you, the courage, the self-control, the love, everything. Praise God. That's a good word. Good word. So um, I hope that you have a blessed week. Here we are on Wednesday already. Um, let me see if I, my husband, lovely, lovely, lovely. <laughs> send me the love and joy today it's amazing what a flower can do to you and the atmosphere and even a stressful office 
So um, let me read a little bit more and I will let you go. Also here um, from the February magazine, as I want to share, let's see, here's one in living at full strength. Irresistible Influence and Impact by David Jeremiah. Also, our church is still going through the 21-day fasting, uh, the Daniel Fast at EMIC, um, and also our local church in Virginia. Let me read a little bit of this and then have my lunch and bless you with the love of God in Jesus' name. So, Jesus wants the fragrance of Christ to be released through us. So, just having my husband sent me flower, our office smells amazing today. So, love you, honey. Love you, love you. It's a tried and true tactic that real estate agents have used for years, bake a couple dozen chocolate chip cookies just before a house showing. The aroma of those freshly baked cookies gives prospective buyers the memory of home as soon as they walk through the door. The idea, familiar and wonderful aroma help make the house irresistible. The same things happen if you live in a neighborhood where houses are in close proximity to one another. When one neighbor fires up his grill on a Saturday afternoon and the aroma begin wafting through the neighborhood, the urge to cook out is irresistible. It sets off a chain reaction of Saturday cooks out. Cooks out. Uh, and how many of us remember being woke up early, woken up early on Thanksgiving morning by the aroma of a turkey filled with stuffing season with herbs and spices in the oven? It was enough to draw children like a magnet from their beds to the kitchen holiday aromas are irresistible. The Apostle Paul even acknowledged the power of aromas. He used the example of a Roman military commander returning to his city after a victorious battle, leading his troops through a throng of citizens who filled the air with celebratory fragrance of spices and incense. You can find that in 2 Corinthians 2, 14 through 17. Praise God, praise God. So just to close there, the smell of a beautiful rose, roses and the smell of delicious Thanksgiving cooking meal, is, it's, it's, it sets you off in a beautiful atmosphere. You can feel the love, you can feel the friendship, and you can feel the amazing miracle of the gifts of family and loved one that being surrounded at the table. So today I hope you have a beautiful day, whether in your office or in your home or with your family or driving your kids to school or picking them up. I pray that you can smell the sense of love from the Lord Almighty. Today, this week, the Lord has um, reminded me to to um, do not be anxious for anything and everything. Is to see that everything that we see are just temporary. For example, these roses look gorgeous today. But as time goes, they wither. But not the love of God, friend. The love of God lasts longer than anything that you can imagine. So that's why um, we look to the Lord each time we open the Holy Scripture during my daily walk Bible as I take us through. Right now we just um, completed chapter 2 of uh, Zephaniah. Hopefully by this weekend we're completing the whole book of three chapters. So just Susanna, just to say happy Valentine's Day. I hope you have a great, great week and good plan with your loved one 
and God bless you. Have a wonderful and beautiful time with your family tonight. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Have a good day. Bye-bye.